Hey, it's Mike White with 143. So making designs and using AI has been just all the rage for the last maybe six months. You know, ever since Bing uh, came out with their co-pilot, uh, we've all have access to like a free art program. And I know a lot of my artist friends are upset about this, but I'm encouraging everybody to just use it. Uh, it's a tool, okay? So if you go to, I don't use the Bing browser or the Edge browser, but if you go to Edge and you click on um, Copilot, you can literally just start asking questions. You can ask it to, you know, make me a design for a t-shirt that is circus related and would appeal to a child. Boom. I'm going to say make the design on a white background. I'm not really great at making these problems. You know, I'm just winging it here. Just talking to it like it's a human. So it is working through it and generating an image. I should pause the video while it's thinking. So I've got lots of designs here that it came up with and they look great. I don't see anything that's going to be easy for me to remove the background though. So I really don't like these. So I'm going to try again. All right. Create a, I'm going to focus on t-shirt. Create a t-shirt design for a child to wear to the circus. A white shirt. Boom. Well, let's see what it can do. Pause. So Bing has said a t-shirt design that has the word circus and some circus elements like a tent, a star, and a popcorn. That's great. Oh, these are much better. Awesome. I really like this one actually, but I don't like this weird word right here. There's just nothing there. Um, you know, that's, I mean, there's, it's, it's not a real word. So, you know, that could be inspiration though, if you've got the skills to actually just replace that. This one looks cute. That one looks really cute. I'm going to go with this one, I think. Ooh, I like this one. I like them all, I guess. All right, I'm gonna do this one. So let's pick this one. So I'm gonna download this and I need to save it. And it's gonna go in my downloads folder. There it is. Awesome. And I'm gonna open this up in Photophia. So I'm gonna rename this real quick. Let's rename this. Um, Circus shirts. Okay. And then I'm going to open this in Photopia. So I'm going to get rid of using Bing and we're going to go back to um, my, my happy place, which is Chrome. And I'm going to go to Photopia.com. I'm going to open from computer. And I'm looking in my downloads folder. There's my circus shirt. Open it up. Because the first thing I know I want to do is I want to get rid of all of this, you know, the actual t-shirt part. And I'm just going to trace around this. So I've selected the lasso tool. And I'm just going to trace around. And I'm just trying to stay in the purest white areas there and not get any of those shadows if I can avoid it. All right, so that's got that. And I think I actually want to invert my selection. Let's do that. And then I'm just going to hit delete. And then behind it, well, we'll go ahead and trim this. Let's trim it based on transparent. Okay. 
And then behind that, I want to paint white. So I need to just do a new layer. I'm not sure how to do that on here. Layer new. Okay, Shift Control N. And I'm just going to make sure I'm using white. Boom. Okay. And I've got my paint bucket tool. I'm going to hit Control. I'm going to deselect, which is Control D, and just paint white over the whole layer, and then pull that down below. And you can see it's kind of off white here on the edges. So I'm actually going to just try to pick this color and I'm going to paint that instead. Looks like it's, it's changing color all the way around, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. We'll get rid of this background in a second. All right, so now I'm going to save this. I'm going to export it as a PNG and it's only 568 by 695. So I can't, I mean, I, you could. You know, 143 has a wonderful, you know, art department. So you could, um, you know, just send that up and, and we would take care of it. But I'm gonna try to show you how to do a little bit better job and, uh, you know, be able to, you know, set this up. So here we go. So I've just cleaned up my downloads folder. So I'm gonna take you to Pixel Cut. So let's go look at that. Pixel Cut Upscale. I believe that's what it's called. Upscaler. Awesome. And this is a free AI upscaler, so it's a great way to get a larger size image. I'm just going to upload my circus. And I want to go to 4x. Mm. Is it not going to let me do that? Oh, it's trying to sell me on stuff here. So I guess I've got to be signed up. All right. I definitely don't want to pay. So that's to upscale images larger than 4,000 pixels, but I don't really need that. Well, let's just, let's just download it at this size. And it's trying to sell me again. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back. I'm just trying to like kind of hack the system here to see if I can get this thing a little bigger. So we're running it through twice. And it sure is thinking about it this time. Now I've got something that's 2272 by 2780. Yeah, I guess you just can't use that 4X one. You've got to... That's something that's changed since the last time I did this. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's download it. All right, sell me again. So I'm going to find multiple copies. So there's my copy that's 2272. So what does that mean? You know, 2400 pixels wide um, is going to be 8 inches. And, you know, so that means that, um, you know, you just take the number and divide it by 300. So that means I can print this eight inches wide, and that's fine. I know we're just doing a kid's shirt here. So I'm just going to rename this as Circuit Shirt Upscaled. All right. And now I'm going to take this back into Photopea. So I'm just going to close all my other tabs. Leave. And I'm going to close this. We're going to do New. Nope. I'm going to do Open. Open. And we'll grab the circus shirt upscaled, open it. And it's going to look exactly like it. It looks like you haven't even really done anything. But if we zoom in, which is control plus, you can see now that I've got, you know, a, a higher resolution image. So I can see that too by going to image size. And there's that 2272 pixels. So if I change the DPI here to 300 and change this to inches, I don't want to resample. I'm going to change this. Let's turn off resample. Let me get out of here. Image size. I don't want resample. I want to change this to 300. It's going to tell me that I've got a 7 by 9 inch image. Okay, great. And it's still looking cute. I don't see any real problems with it. There's much better upscalers out there. Um, 
than the free ones you can find online. Like I use Gigapixel AI, and that's a wonderful one. Um, but you know, this is going to work for me. So I'm going to change my tolerance to 80, and I'm going to use my magic wand tool. I'm going to hit Control Control D to deselect, and that 80 tolerance is really going to power past a lot of these details. And I'm just looking for anything that I don't want. Um, to deselect. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to grab my lasso. I said that I don't want to deselect anything I don't want to select. So it's kind of shoved its way in over here. You know? And that doesn't really match this side. So maybe we can kind of clean this up this way. Let's, let's go ahead and delete that. We're going to do select, modify, I'm going to expand by one pixel to get a real tight uh, clean edge and then I'm going to hit delete and then I'm just going to try to take part of this over here let's just grab all this and I'm going to copy it so I'm hitting control C hoping that works and I'm going to hit control shift V yes allow text and images so now I have just that piece right there. I'm going to pull it down below this one so it's behind. And then I'm going to select it. I'm going to try to flip it. So we're going to transform, flip horizontal. And then I'm going to grab my move tool. I'm going to hold shift. Oops, I selected the whole thing. I'm going to hold shift and slide this over and see if I can't just get that to match up pretty well. Somewhere in there looks good. Awesome. And then I'm just going to grab my brush tool and I'm, I'm holding alt and clicking here and I believe that's going to select the color that I want. And I'm just going to paint. Oh, oh, let's just paint that right there. Hang on. Control Z, Control Z. Let's do a new layer. Control Shift N. Oh, yeah, not what I wanted. Layer, new layer. Yeah, it says Shift Control N. I'll pull that down below. And then I'm just going to select right here, and I'm just going to kind of paint that little area in. And obviously I could nitpick it a little more, but I'm pretty happy with it. It's a small detail. And now I'm just going to do a final image trim, transparent pixels. And then I'm going to save it. So I'm going to export this as a PNG. And I've got a decent sized image here. I'm going to save that. So in my downloads folder now I have circus shirt upscaled one. So I'll just delete all these other ones so I don't get confused. And I'm going to rename that to get rid of those little special characters. I always worry about uploading those. And now I've got an image. So I need to pop over to 143 vinyl. I'm going to go to the DTF transfer page. I'm going to go to the layout designer and I'm just going to upload that image. So I'm going to go with an eight by eight choose image, go to my downloads, grab that upscaled image. It's popped it on the stage just right. It's cut off at the bottom a little bit here, so I'm just gonna scale it back, you know, right to probably like, you know, just where I can see it's inside the bounds, and then just center it up. And that's ready to print. I'm ready to send this in, name the project. And add it to my cart and then 143 will print it out and ship it to me and all it needs a heat press I can press it right on the shirt and I'm done with my project hey I hope this helps my name is Mike White I'm with 143 and my job is to make your digital life easier have a great day